Behind each of these signs is a haunting story of someone who's missing. Their families don't know if they are alive or dead, suffering or not. It's a chilling physical reminder of how many missing persons cases there are just in the Birmingham area. This display is part of a national road tour called On the Road to Remember. It uh, took my breath away when I first came here. It, um, I didn't, never realized there were so many people missing from just Birmingham. Nancy Kirsch is the mother of one of the missing, 23-year-old Nadia Kirsch. This is video of her leaving work last November in downtown Homewood. She was never heard from again, leaving behind a one-year-old son. Her car and purse were found in West Birmingham, but no sign of Nadia. It's been a while. If she's not with us anymore, I'd like to bring her home to rest. If she's still with us, I want to bring her home to rest. Um, and I want to be able to help other families, too, because this is, this is an incredible, incredible experience that no one should have to go through. The Road to Remember brought Nancy Kirsch together with other people who know exactly what she's going through. Pam Bigger's family hasn't heard from her since she drove to Florida on business in January 2008. When you have a loved one that's missing every day that you get up, you're just reliving it over and over. That's the hardest thing. Daily trauma for all involved. Nadia's eight-year-old brother, John, wrote down his thoughts for his mom to share. My sister, Nadia, was really kind to me. She watched TV with me, fed me when I was a baby, and took walks with me, read to me, and played with me, too. I hope she comes back home. I would run up to her and hug her tight. I really miss her. It's been so long. Why hasn't anyone found her? You do everything you can, and then more. You, uh, you know, Nadia Kirsch, this, that has been a hot non-stop investigation for us because it has blossomed into a criminal investigation. You know, I expect criminal charges in that case. Sergeant Doug Finch is one of the Homewood detectives working the Kirsch case. There's enough information to fill a bookcase. It's a high-profile case, but Finch says missing persons calls come in all the time. Here are the facts. The cases usually end up being runaways, people with medical problems, the elderly with Alzheimer's, even just miscommunication. Someone thought someone missing really wasn't. But that 10% Finch is talking about is a case like Kirsch or Gina Bashirs, a Homewood woman who disappeared in 2001. It's a cold case that may have new life thanks to a new type of DNA testing. There are some new developments recently, speaking of that case, such as mitochondrial DNA, um, that I'm excited about. That's encouraging news, but the fact remains there are more than a thousand missing person cases in our state. The Road to Remember Tour stop put the families in touch with supportive members of law enforcement. Now I'm pleased with the cooperation between the state agencies, the local agencies, the private partners, the citizens and their volunteers that have all come together to really collaborate on this problem. And, and when we collaborate and communicate and put our heads together, we can really make a difference. Here's a nationwide snapshot. In 2006, more than 836,000 people were reported missing. In 2007, the number of reports dropped to 814,000. Sergeant Finch feels confident the Kirsch case will be solved, even if they never find her. At a certain time, there's going to have to be a decision made to prosecute this case without a body. Do you have your guy? I believe so. I feel very good about the case, feel very good about the investigation, and have since day one. That's their job. Uh, my job is... Um, is to try to bring her home, try to find her and try to bring her home. That's what she wants us to do, and that's what we're going to do. The Road to Remember stops here in Alabama were hosted by a husband-wife team. Chris and Angie Cantrell are members of the Walker County Rescue Squad. They're also members of the Alabama Private Investigators Association. The tour solves a case every year, even a case that had been a cold case for almost 30 years. Andrea Lindenberg, NBC 13 HD News.